We now turn to the reading of Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 32. There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, you are now dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people Israel. It is these words that lead us in a reflection upon the first Noel, words that were written here by Peter Bates that I now read. In today's carol and scripture lesson, we have two examples of who brings people to Jesus. The carol tells the story of how angels brought the news to the shepherds and brought them to the newborn child. The scripture lesson takes us 40 days into the future when Jesus' parents bring him to the temple for the rite of purification. And he's met by Simeon, who was led there by the Holy Spirit. Who brought you to Jesus? It was likely not as dramatic as an angel visit in the night. Were you led by the Holy Spirit to a church where the story of God's love is told? Or were you born into a family who knew Jesus? Regardless of how you came to know Jesus, the story is still the same. God wants us to share Christ's love with others, bringing them to him. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, as we came to know you, help us to bring others to know you as well. Let your Holy Spirit work through me so that your love can spread. Amen. <laughs> 